Today we live in a fast-paced world, with high-speed connections, food to go, and products designed to be replaced easily. We're far removed from any of the struggles and triumphs previous generations experienced. But the distance between today and 100 years ago is not impassable. Come along as we explore our connection with our history through an institution often taken for granted, the Small Town Museum. Daily life from previous generations has been preserved through the efforts of volunteers committed to rescuing the objects of the past. These museums offer just a glimpse into what life was like for early generations in eastern Washington. And they are so much more than just a collection of objects. Though the items on display may be similar, each museum has its own unique story and identity. Southeast lies the town of Palouse. Home to the Holy Trinity Church and Roy Chatter's Newspaper and Printing Museum. The Holy Trinity Church was erected in 1895. The interior and exterior have remained the same since it was built. Inside, the light comes through the beautiful stained glass windows. Outside, there is a lich gate, which is one of only seven in the United States. The lich gate was used for resting a coffin under during a funeral service. Today, the beauty of the lich gate is often showcased during wedding ceremonies. The church offers services for small weddings, funerals, and literary readings. A few blocks down on Main Street, you will find the Roy Chatters Newspaper and Printing Museum. This unique museum contains a collection of letterpress printing equipment ranging from the earliest kind, a Gutenberg press dating back to 1450, to presses from the 1980s. There are also memorials to the area's veterans, floods that previously ravaged the town, and a collection of historic newspapers. The museum takes pride in its printing demonstrations. And then you turn it on, and you're not printing that, you're just getting the ink ready. And what's going to happen is the rollers come up and over that plate and press, and that smoothen the ink. The rollers are getting inked, and they're also running down over these letters. But we're not printing yet, we're just getting it inked up. Every tour educates visitors on the history of printing. This container is called a case, and each case on these cabinets is a different font. And originally, they had a case for the capital letters and a case for the lowercase letters. They always stored the capital letters on top of the case with the lowercase letters, and that's how. It came to be known as uppercase and lowercase because that's how they stored the, these cases. All of the printing equipment is still in working order. It's amazing to see how printing has changed over the centuries. These museums are living treasures, not just for the pieces stored in them, but the lives connected to them. The volunteers and staff who make them run bring a wealth of local history to life, illustrating how much our connection with our history is not fueled simply by objects, but by our connections with each other. <laughs> 